This video is going to be a review of the Personas E 4.5 speakers. I'm not going to demonstrate the audio quality. There's a lot of videos out on YouTube that do that. I will say that they sound fantastic. What I'm going to do in this video is demonstrate why they were the best speaker setup for my home recording studio. They might end up being the best speaker setup for your home recording studio as well. I like the fact that the Personas E 4.5 speakers had everything I wanted and nothing I didn't need. It has a power cable that uses a simple two prong connector. It's like a figure eight. If you wanted a three foot long cable or a six foot long cable, it's your choice. Where some of the other speaker setups, the power cable was connected right to the speaker. If your dog or cat chews on it, your speakers are useless. It also has a knob in the back for the treble and a knob for the bass. If I want to plug my CD player into the speaker setup using this tiny little cord, if I want to add a little bit more bass to it so it gets a little bit more of a punch, there's the knob in the back that I can do that. If I want it to sound a little bit more bright and crisp, there's a treble knob in the back. You can articulate the sound how you want with these particular speakers. I take the Revelator IO24, the TSR out and connect it into the TRS input of the speaker setup. The RCA connectors in the back of this are connected to my audio board. All my audio gear is connected 100%. I like that. But I do like the fact that the auxiliary is in the front because I can hook up a cell phone using this little cable. I can hook up my Mac mini. I can hook up my CD player. I can get a five foot long cable, hook up my Yamaha MU50 sound module. Right now, my Zoom guitar effects processor is plugged in. I played the clean channel as well as the distortion channel, and you could probably hear it coming through the speakers. It's like I have my own little miniature Marshall stack. It's really super cool. What I can also do is I can unplug this, and I have this little tiny adapter, and I can plug it into my Bluetooth receiver, and I'm gonna play my phone through here really quick. Let me get my phone software and my audio CDs. If you look at it, it does. If I hit stop, you can tell there's no wires when I hit play. But I do think it'll be nicer to take all of these CD titles and software titles. It's not as loud as the distortion pedal, as but you can tell there's room for the C You should be able to tell it is the inserts. My cell phone. I can connect my Mac mini up to this using Bluetooth. Although I'd probably just use the small cable. My PC, I can connect using Bluetooth as well. It's really super cool to have that auxiliary input. And I'm glad mine's on the front because I can connect stuff up really super easy as opposed to if it was in the back and I had to sit there and try and find it. I'm gonna play a video on my computer real quick. You may want to invest in a storage cabinet. My storage cabinet has audio and video gear bunch of cables as well as computer parts up on the audio is playing out of the persona speakers i can power these off really quick and power these on and you'll hear a different sound on top i have all my software and my audio cds i'm taking the quarter inch trs balanced output from my revelator io24 and plugging it into the quarter inch trs connector in the back and then the headphone of my Revelator IO24 is connected into these speakers. And if I do want to listen to my computer with headphones, there's a headphone jack on these speakers. There's a headphone jack on this as well. You might not be able to see it. Both headphone outputs sound fantastic. These speakers exceeded my expectations. I didn't think the bass would sound good. I didn't think just hooking up an effects pedal and in, right into these speakers would get a good sound, but they really do. They usually sell for $150. I got them on sale for $120. Like I said, they have all the functionality I want, yet at the same time, I'm not paying for stuff that I do not need. These are by far the best speakers for my home recording studio. I'm not saying they're going to be the best speakers for your home recording studio.